We all know communication is such an important way to develop an understanding about people around us. Whatever method it is used in, whether this is through text messages, sign language, body language, talking or even writing, there's an element of importance on how the message is conveyed and how the message is received so there is no miscommunication. However, sometimes this happens and people are, are misunderstood. So if you or someone you know wants to stop being misunderstood, then please stay with me. Hello, my name is Belinda. I'm the founder of Serene Lifestyles, an online psychotherapy practice. Please click the link below to connect. Now, one of the most common reasons that leads to misinterpretations is the vagueness of conveying it. We all have freedom of speech and some take a lot of what they wish to convey by being mindful of the other person's reactions. However, on occasion, let's call it these people, um, re let's refer to these people as receivers. May the receivers make assumptions sometimes about the other person and the way that the conveyor is um, passing the message on. Due to past experiences, they may feel this way. So some even have their back up because they heard something about the conveyor and the way that they express themselves and the way the message is given in a particular way and what it could mean. Majority of the time, it is the receiver's perception of what is being expressed. So here are a few tips on how to stop being misunderstood and how to overcome it. So tip number one, manage your own emotions. Try not to react if the receiver misunderstands what you are trying to communicate. We can get quite frustrated when this happens and this makes us feel helpless at times. So avoid it by allowing the other person to express themselves. And the more you, the embarrassment of the misunderstanding can sometimes trigger frustration as well. But the more that you contain that anger you're, and not confuse yourself with the emotion, it's better to be more calm and take a deep breath and be, have those calm thoughts and not allow your own thoughts and the inner voice that is telling you to scream or yell back or anything like that give yourself the power to listen to the other person until they are calm and they have expressed what it is that they have misunderstood you don't have to react just remind yourself that there's no use talking until you're both calm enough to listen to each other. And tip number two, remain authentic. We all feel shame sometimes. It's okay to feel embarrassed if you have been misunderstood. Or of, of course, remind yourself that you are, after all, a human. Even if you did say something that could be misinterpreted negatively, that still no, gives you no reason to feel embarrassed. No one is perfect. The key here is to learn from how you express what you wish to convey and commit to doing your best when expressing yourself next time. Be authentic and non-judgmental about the other person because sometimes we just need to learn from these things and you've got to put a positive twist on the matter. So think more positively about what they are trying to express that they have misunderstood and try and to move away from insensitive communication, okay? So be empathetic to them and hopefully they would have that same intention towards you. Now, these are just a few tips. So if you need further professional advice or help, then please connect by clicking on the link below. And remember, change your mindset and it will change your life. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care of your thinking patterns.